sana kwa sababu nyinyi watu wana bafolo naona leo umekuja kwa wingi sana mtupigie makofi hii inamaanisha nyinyi watu wana bafolo mnapenda maendeleo na pia ni vizuri wananchi kuhusishwa katika shughuli ya maendeleo uh, through public participation pia natakuwa fursa hii kuwashukuru nyinyi wote kwa sababu naona mmekuwa watulivu na pia niambia mheshimiwa wangu na chelewe kidogo naona pia ratiba imeendelea na leo ni siku yenu leo ni siku ambayo tunaopatia nafasi ya kuuliza maswali mawaziri ambao wako hapa na chief officers na kwa sababu pia mimi nimekuja hapa ili kuambia mambo ambayo tumefanya katika Kakamega County kwanza kabisa kwa upande wa barabara nimetangaza wazi ya kwamba hiyo barabara yetu ambayo kwa tunaweka nami Chipius Junction na Bafalo Center Matoi Eshirakwe nimesema contractor rudi kwa hiyo barabara haraka ili iweze kukamilika tunaenda kufanya juu chini ili hiyo barabara yetu iweze kukamilika ili tukuje hapa after 3 months tukao tunakuja kufanya load hiyo barabara pia nimesema kuna barabara yetu nyingine au tuna kabondi mpaka kutonga mjima ile barabara inayo pia nimeambia contractor lazima urudi kwa ground kwa sababu tunataka mvua ileni ikuja hiyo barabara yetu tuweze kukamilika barabara nyingine ambayo tumeweka kwa CIDP ya barabara huko na Ebuheri au tabu kama huko ni hiyo nimesema tutaweka ndani hiyo barabara ndio kwa CIDP mimi na leo kufanya hivi vya kwetu make sure usafiri katika na mafolo imekuwa rais katika budget ya mwaka huu pia tumetenga pesa ya kutengeneza zile 10 km Maram Road kwa sababu tunajua tukifanya hivyo vijana wetu wa boda boda kwa ajili wetu ambao hapa na watu na bafalo kwa ujumla nyinyi wakulima tutahakikisha barabara iko safi ili pia kurahisha kazi ya biashara kwa upande wa afya ambayo pia ni nguzo moja wapo ambayo imetilia mkazo sana bila rais wetu alikuwa hapa nitangaza wazi ya kwamba hospitali yetu ya Navaholo ambayo sasa ni level 4 tutaweka hapo vifaa za kutosha tunaenda kuleta madaktari tunaenda pia kuleta madawa kwa wingi na mimi najua madawa zimefika huko sikuliona na hiyo madawa kitu ambayo nimetangaza wazi hatutaki wale pharmacy pharmacies kuuza madawa zetu kwa kemis mtu yote akipata aombi uh, akwenda kununua dawa kwa kemis piga simu kwa ofisi ili tudhii na wale madaktari kabisa hapo tumeelewana madawa lazima ifanye kazi kwa hospitali zetu pia nimetangaza wazi mwaka huu hospitali yetu ya Kushiri Health Center tunaenda kwa upgrade ikuwe level 4 licha kwa level 4 pia tutaweka hapo maternity ambayo itaanza pia kujengwa na leo tukifanya hivyo watu wetu wa Bushiri wataweza kupata hotuba karibu na manyumbani kwao tuko na various dispensaries ambazo pia tumeelewana na waheshimiwa wangu ya kwamba we will complete most of those dispensaries kuleta madawa kuweka madaktari hapo na hapa na hapo we have dedicated um, ampule za bayo iko hapo level 4 ili tukiwa na shida yote watu wetu wanapata huduma bila kuwa na wasiwasi jambo lingine ambalo pia tumetilia mkazo ni mambo ya kuleta maendeleo katika shule zetu tuko na various uh, ECD uh, class for those tunajenga najua hapa na mafolo aso hapa ni sumu primary because you are hosting us today mkubaliana na mheshimiwa mangeni ambaye ni MCA wenu BCD hapa leo pale ndema pia nitangaza wazi 
tunaenda kujenga ECD pale na pia licha ya kujenga ECD we also going to equip those ECD centers ili watoto wetu waweze kupata masomo mahali ambapo ni safi na niongea na waziri wa elimu ambaye kwa hapa nimesema the computational money ambayo tunatuma katika shule zetu na polytechnics lazima ifikie wale wanafunzi pale kwa grounds tumeelewana pale na pia nimesema katika uh, ministry yetu tunaenda kuunda new committees za bursaries na hiyo mwaka uliopita kulikuwa na ubora kidogo ya bursaries kwa kila ward mwaka huu nimetangaza ward itakuwa inapokea shilingi milioni 4 kwa mambo ya bursaries na hiyo pesa tutakuwa na fresh committee that has representation na pia ndugu zetu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu the must get an opportunity ya kupata ile pesa we are going to segregate almost 30% of bursaries ziende ndugu zetu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu kwa sababu that is the only way we can empower our PWDs jambo lingine ambalo pia atatilia mkazo ni mambo ambayo nimetangaza wazi amazo kumlia kwa yao mama mbevati zake hadi musebere baada yao mata tumeelewana kwa nyama za kumlia na waziri wa mazo kumliango wako hapa jina yake ingine na mazo kumliango waziri penina mitangaza wazi all our water streams lazima tupate ile last mile connection katika hii budget tumeweka pesa ili tufanikishe last mile connection maji yenda paka kumliango wa mama wetu wapate maji safi mwisho kabisa kwa sababu leo ni siku yenu najua tumeanza msimu ambao karibu elimini na kuja na hapa na mapole tumekuwa na mahali ambapo mbwe kinyesha na kwa na mafuriko asua sana maeneo letu huku abunyada west tumekuwa na mafuriko kamuli last year mukama sesohe mwili hizo eno zote nimeambia the minister in charge of the social preparedness of shirikiana na serikali ku kuhakikisha we have a preparedness ya mambo ya elimu tumelima barabara zetu wale ambao wanaishi karibu na mto wameamishwa so that when the elimu errands come tusikwe na shida watu wetu uh, kuwa affected na mwisho kabisa kwa upande wa serikali najua ward yetu ya Bunyada East hatuna pale uh, building ambayo tumesema tutajenga in this financial year nataka watu wa Bunyada East at least mkuu mnapata au uh, kutoka katika ward uh, office so we have committed money ili kujenga office administration uh, kule Bunyada East na mwisho najua ile program mbaya kwa tumeenda kujenga ward office Ashinoish Komari I want to direct ile contractor ruli kwa ground ya Raka in the next one week I want to see the contractor kimaliza ya ofisi akiruli kwa ground ili kujenga administration block ya Sumea Ashinoish Komari ward ambayo inaanza mwezi uliopita na mwisho kabisa ili tupata maendeleo katika kila ward kuanzia mwaka huu tumesema kila MCA atakuwa anasimamia shilingi milioni 20 ili kufanikisha ward flagship project hakuna makofi hapo hiyo shilingi milioni 20 pia nimesema tukiwa na project hapa na Bakolo project ya kujenga ECD project ya kujenga dispensary project ya mazo mliango na project ya barabara itafanywa na contractors wa Nabahoni. Na wale contractors tunataka pia kina mama wapewe contract. Tunataka vijana wapate contract. Na pia ndugu zetu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu they must be considered kufanya kazi katika Nabahoni using our 20 million ambayo itaenda katika kila ward na hapa na mkono mko na bahati we are going to uh, deploy 
over 100 million ili kufanikisha maendeleo hapa na hii itakuwa tu maendeleo ya ward hii itakuwa pia inasaidia maendeleo ambayo mimi kama gavana nitakuwa naendeleza barabara na pia kuleta mambo mengine hapa na mwisho kabisa kama kinara ambaye anasimamia mambo ya miwa I want to appreciate my brother Wangwe for moving a motion ya sugar bill kule bungeni na pia tukasema mumiazi sugar must be included in the list ya zile kampuni ambazo wanatupulia mbali madeni deni ambayo mumiazi sugar ilikuwa inadaiwa is almost 33 billion Kenya shillings hiyo 33 billion Kenya shillings through a memorandum ambayo uh, wiki jayo tutakuwa tunapelekea rais wetu aweze kufuatilizia ili tuhakikishe mambo ya madeni ya mumias sugar are written off the government pia imesema is going to invest in kenya development na pia kuleta mwekezaji ambaye anaweza saidia kufufua kampuni yetu ya mumias sugar that is our memorandum to the president and i'm very sure kwa sababu yeye pia ni champion number 1 kwa mambo ya wakulima na mambo ya miwa anaenda kusupport hapo nikimalizia tunajua Kakamega is known for talents ya mpira na mimi nimeongea na rais wetu ya kwamba Bukungu Stadium should be considered as one of the venues for hosting African Cup of Nations 2027 Mambo ya mpili za both fans. Na sisi tunashukuru uh, wiki hii on Monday waziri wa sporti ambaye ni ambapo na mambo alikuja simu. Next week anakuja na maafisa katika idara yake to inspect Bukungu Stadium in preparation for African Cup of Nations 2027. Na pia amenongeneza ame, ame akaniambia we may also be given the hosting rights ya African Nations Cup ambayo inafanywa mwaka ujao in September. So Kakamega County we are ready to make We have invested over 2.3 billion Kenya shillings in upgrading Bukungu National Stadium. Na mimi najua tukifanya hiyo nafasi of hosting Chan a football games in September uh, next year. Pia itakuwa ngazi ya kuhakikisha kwamba come 2027 we are also ready to host African Cup of Nations. Na hii tasaidia pakubwa kuinua utumi hapa na pia kusaidia kujana wetu ambao tumetilia mungazo katika Governor's Cup ya mwaka huu kwa ujisha talaka zao. Governor's Cup ya mwaka huu na jua saizi naendelea we are almost done na World Finals mwezi huu ama mwezi ujao tunenda kuwa na South County Finals na tukakuwa na finali ambazo zitaanza tarehe 30 where we'll be having um netball finals uh, volleyball finals kwa vijana na pia wasichana tutakuwa na rugby finals uh, kule Bukungu ambayo inaitwa Eco 7 itapigwa pale 31st of December na finali ya football itachezwa tarehe 1 January 2024. And we have 10 million shillings in total in terms of prizes for the winning teams. So Sisi, Kama Kakamega County Tumajipanga, we are committed to nature talent na nijawamba tushirikiana na waishimu wa wote ili tusaidia mjena wetu kukuza talent. Kwa hawa machache, mimi na washukuru sana.